YouTube, the tube on the internet. Top five helicopters of 2023. I'm not gonna be too long, so we're gonna go right into it. Number five, the Buzzard. The Buzzard's been around since the early beginnings, and I, I can't lie, still to this day, one of the best handling helicopters in GTA Online. Not only that, it can take a beating. You can slam that on the ground, and it doesn't even start smoking. Depends how hard, of course. But yeah, overall, it's not too bad. You know, you can hold up to four players with it. The minigun's actually really efficient against aircrafts and jets. And the best part is that you can instantly spawn a buzzard through your ceo abilities so it costs 1.8 million dollars but you really don't even need it you can really just get it through your ceo abilities and bada bing bada bang so yeah in my opinion number five is the buzzard overall good vehicle has decent tracking you know it's great for missions it can spawn instantaneously number four the savage <laughs> This bad boy costs $2.6 million. Or after you complete Pacific Standard, I think it's just under 2 million. I gotta tell y'all something. The Savage is where it's at if you're really good with guns. You can honestly spawn trap people to a point where it's just torture. You can really just pierce through any type of vehicle and you can make it smoke. The only thing though is all it takes is one missile or one jet to come after you and you're toasted. But I won't lie, if you guys can really control the Savage, you can be an absolute beast with it. Number three. I don't think y'all are ready for number three, the Akula. Let me tell y'all something about the Akula. This bad boy costs 3.7 million smackaroos, but the trade-in price is 2.8 million. But I gotta say, you can do a lot of damage with this. It's overall a really good vehicle for grinding out missions in free mode, and it's because of the stealth functions on it. You can go off the radar without actually going off the radar, if that makes sense. So you don't need to call Lester, a CEO, ghost organization, none of that. You can just go straight off the map, and no one will have any idea where you are. Honestly, it's a pretty good vehicle to troll with, and it's a tank. It can actually take a beating. It's super agile. You can really maneuver around with it. It's honestly a good vehicle for grinding out preps and stuff like that. I, I, I gotta admit, it's definitely a number three for me. All right, number two. I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this, but the Sparrow. Yes, by far, I'm pretty sure it's the fastest helicopter in GTA Online right now. It's the ultimate helicopter for grinding out preps, especially Caio Perico preps. You guys know that. It's super agile. It has a chafing system or a flare system. What's there not to like about that? But here's the thing. The Sparrow can be really deadly if you know how to use it. A lot of people complain that the Sparrow has terrible handling and it's super weak. Yes, but it's highly maneuverable. You can actually spin around you can do some trolly ass things with it. If you guys watch my videos, you'll see how many players got annoyed at my Sparrow tactics. The best part is you can fly right on top of them so they can't even shoot you down. And honestly, you just gotta go in first person, get a feel of how the Sparrow's flying tactics are, get a feel of the maneuverability using a Sparrow, and you can see how efficient it is in free mode. Definitely highly recommend, underrated, super fast, and I've actually taken out jets and oppressors with it. If you guys don't believe me, watch my videos. I'll, you know what? Check this one out right over here. And number one, before you guys hate on me i just gotta say this is my opinion the cargo bob yes okay hear me out it costs 2.2 million or something like that or it can be like 1.8 million if you get the other variation but let me tell y'all something the cargo bob is the ultimate helicopter in gta online because it's an add-on if you guys watch my past videos see what magic i've done with the cargo bob i've picked up the dual 20 millimeter flak cannons and i put them on buildings if you guys don't know about the 20 millimeter flax just know it's the strongest weapon in gta online besides the orbital cannon so imagine picking it up with the cargo bob placing that on the top of a skyscraper or a building where there are a bunch of jet gremlins going around or something you can have a blast with it i'm gonna tell you right now but wait there's more the chernobog you can pick up the chernobog with it you can place it on top of mountains you know you can just put in tactical advantages and it's just such an ultimate vehicle it's a fun vehicle to use and you can really do some trolley ideas with it you guys know the npc tanks down at port Sancudo? what if we pick up one of those tanks and we drop it in the city do you know how much fun that is <laughs> Just some crazy NPC tank going around causing chaos. Like, yeah, they're probably gonna get blown up in 10 missile hits or whatever, but it's just a good fun vibe vehicle to use. And um, I feel like it's really underrated because it's not weaponized. You know, you can just have fun with it with your friends and you don't even need to use it in a public session. You can just do goofy stuff with the cargo bob in a friend session, in an invite only session. And that's usually what GT Online comes down to. So these are my top fives. If you guys don't like my top fives, I totally understand it. This is my opinion. So let me know what your top fives are in the comments below and if you guys like my top five series my top 10 series whatever series give me some more suggestions in the comments as well all right i'll see you guys in the next one peace